Hello, welcome to BioFree. Today's lecture will be short, very short, because uh, last last time we we talk about the um, different cell organelles. It is uh, it it is very long. So today's lecture will be very short. This is the conclusion of the cell organelles. Again, we'll talk about. Um, so this time, the uh, we'll talk about the origin. You know, how, where the cell organelles come from. Both plant cell and animal cell, they have organelles. They are all have the organelles. They are wrapped by membranes. Where do we get those organelles from? We we'll talk about the origin. Um, it has something to. Evolution and the endosymbiotic hypothesis. So, um, as I mentioned before, if you are religious, uh, please bear with me. Um, evolution um, is something that is required uh, for me to teach you, and also it is something that for you to learn. So, uh, if it is against your religion, then please. Um, still learn this for this class in order to get a good grade because I'm required to test you about evolution and after after finishing this class you're welcome to forget everything about evolution and embrace your religion for the rest of your life um, similarly while evolution is also well I'll say against my religion but since it is my job to teach evolution so I'm simply doing my job uh, please uh, do not challenge me in the canvas email about evolution. Um, I'm doing my job to teach you and you are doing your job as a student to learn about this. So there are two hypotheses about um, um, the origin and evolution of the cell. So um, eukaryotic cell evolved from prokaryotic cell. Okay, this is very obvious this is confirmed okay um, because eukaryotic cells is more complicated than prokaryotic cell and organelles they are evolved from invagination of the cell membrane so it is very similar to um, endocytosis similar to endocytosis remember we talk about pinocytosis it's like the cell drinking water when this or receptor mediated endocytosis, you know, all these, all the different types of endocytosis or phagocytosis, phagocytosis is basically engulfing or, or eating the cell is engulfing uh, uh, foreign material. All these will cause a uh, uh, invagination of the cell membrane to form a vesicle. So the vesicle that it forms. Uh, I would say in the primitive cell, they become uh, organelles. Basically, that's the idea. And then uh, we have another hypothesis. It's called endosymbiotic. Meaning endo means inside. Sim means together. Biotic means living. It means that... Um, I already briefly mentioned about this when we talk about mitochondria and chloroplast. So I told you that uh, in the previous uh, video, I told you that they are originally uh, protists or uh, uh, unicellular organisms. And then they get incorporated into uh, animal cells. And this is what I mean, the endosymbiotic uh, uh, endosymbiotic relationship. We will look into the two hypotheses uh, in details right now. Okay, hypothesis number one. So, um, 
all organelles evolve through invagination of the cell membranes. So what happened is that um, so the they propose that the nuclear membrane is basically originated by the cell membrane. And then the something called endomembrane system. The endomembrane system is basically the um, um, Ruffy R and the uh, Golgi apparatus. Yeah, the Ruffy R Golgi apparatus we call endomembrane system. It's the secretory pathway. Um, it's also by the cell membrane. So um, all these and then gain mitochondria, chloroplasts, these are, these are all the invagination of the membrane. So first of all, eukaryotic cell evolved from prokaryotic cell, yes. Because prokaryotic cell, they are a lot simpler. So we evolved, uh, the eukaryotic cell evolved from a simpler cell. So the invagination of cell membrane explain the nuclear envelope and organelles such as endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. I already briefly mentioned that in the previous slides. So um, all these membranes, mem membrane structure, remember endoplasmic reticulum, no matter if it's rough ER or smooth ER, they have multiple vesicles there. And also Golgi apparatus, they also have also have multiple vesicles. All these vesicles, they are originated from the cell membrane. Other organelles evolve later in the same, become specialized, such as the lysosome, um, peroxisomes, and so on. Now, what about the endosymbiotic theory? And we call theory is pretty much we all agree. So what happened is that um, you can see that the enfolding of the cell membrane. So originally we are from prokaryote, and then the invagination, enfolding is the same as invagination of the cell membrane uh, becomes the nuclear membrane. So that you have a nucleus form, forming a. a Nucleus, so that these the nuclear envelope they are from the cell membrane, and then you have the endosymbiosis. For example, you have the aerobic bacterium, which is the uh, mitochondria, and then cyanobacterium. They are the chloroplasts. When they when they go into the cell by endocytosis then the cell membrane will wrap around them and then you become the outer membrane of the mitochondria and the outer membrane of the chloroplast. So we, let's take a closer look. At the beginning, it is the prokaryotic cell. We have the cell membrane. We have DNA. Remember the DNA, they are free floating in the cytoplasm of the, prokary uh, of the prokaryotic cell. We call it nucleoid, okay? And we also have cytoplasm. And then the invagination of the cell membrane becomes the nuclear membrane that surround the, um, that surround the uh, DNA and they become the nuclear envelope. So the invagination of the cell membrane becomes the nuclear envelope that surrounds the DNA. And now we have the nucleus, the true nucleus. And the, and the cell membrane continue to develop, become the endoplasmic reticulum. Because as we learned previously, the endoplasmic reticulum is the extension of the nuclear envelope. And then the invagination of the membrane also form the uh, Golgi apparatus, so that now we have now we have a cell that has the so-called endomembrane system, meaning endomembrane system meaning the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. 
and also the cell has a true nucleus. Now the next step is the engulfing of the engulfing we call it endocytosis of the uh, heterotrophic prokaryote. And aerobic meaning that they can do uh, cellular respiration. As the as these uh, aerobic prokaryotes get endocytosis to get incorporated into the cell by endocytosis, they they become a double membrane. As I mentioned in the previous uh, uh, slides, the outer membrane of the mitochondria uh, originated from our cell membrane. The inner membrane of the mitochondria is the original cell membrane of this uh, aerobic uh, prokaryote. Now, the incorporation of the mitochondria becomes the animal cell. For plant cell, they also have mitochondria, but they also engulf the photosynthetic prokaryote. That means um, um, the photosynthetic prokaryote or cyanobacteria, something like that, they get incorporated into the cell so that they will form a chloroplast. The chloroplast, the outer membrane of the chloroplast is also originated from our cell membrane. Okay, eukaryotic cell, you are from prokaryote, well, we already talked about this. The other prokaryotic, other, prokaryo, other prokaryotic cells like the mitochondria or chloroplast, they become symbiotic. The larger cell, by living within it and supplying with energy, the one that supply energy is the mitochondria, and then uh, they get they get benefit from its protection and also supply of nutrient. Now they become dependent of each other. We call it sim, uh, mutualism, mutualism. Oops, mutualism. Mutualism, okay. So benefit each other. So what are the evidence to support this endosymbiotic hypothesis? Um, so uh, mitochondria and chloroplast, they are, they are similar to the size of the prokaryotic cell in terms of size and shape. They are similar. Uh, as we talked about early in the class, we, we said that the eukaryotic cell is a lot larger than the prokaryotic cell. And then they have a double membrane. I already repeatedly mentioned, even the nucleus has double membrane. Uh, the outer membrane derived from engulfing the vesicle, the engulfing, that means it is from our cell membrane. The inner membrane is the original prokaryotic cell membrane. So engulfing vesicle come from the U karyotic Cell membrane. Oh yeah, it is really bad. Okay, cell mem. Okay, you know the cell membrane. Okay, and then mitochondria and chloroplast contain a limited amount of circular DNA, which divide by splitting. The circular DNA, what do we call it? We call it plasmid. If you remember the lectures about prokaryotic cell, prokaryotic cell they have a nucleoid, which is their main DNA, and also they have a circular DNA called plasmid. I told you that plasmid is like their two box. 
It's like the two box, they, ha they have all the weapons stored in the plasmid. For example, the, um, their resistance to antibiotic is one, of, well, is one piece of the DNA stored in the plasmid. And mitochondria and chloroplasts, they also have plasmid. And most importantly, the ribosome, they are 70S instead of uh, instead of so um, so 70s is a prokaryotic um, the total last but not least okay the DNA sequence of mitochondria and chloroplasts they resemble the living prokaryote so the chloroplast of the, the chloroplast DNA is very similar to the cyanobacteria DNA. We have something called cyanobacteria. They are bacteria. They are protists. They are you uh, prokaryotic uh, unicellular organism. But these bacteria, they have so they are similar to amoeba paramecium. They are unicellular organism, but this. Bacteria, they have, um, they they can do photosynthesis, and then mitochondrial DNA is similar to something called typhus bacterium. Well, I, 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 I don't mind to tell you, I have no idea. I know nothing about this typhus bacterium. Okay, I know nothing about this typhus bacterium. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so that's today's uh lecture is very short um, basically it's to tell you how we how the modern cell evolved from a primitive cell how eukaryotic cell evolved from prokaryotic cell and most importantly how eukaryotic cell got all the uh, organelles so that's today's uh, that's the take-home message of today's lesson